the values of those flags can be controlled from the front panel using those switches. Uh, so let's start the configuration. To configure con the server, we have to use the network configuration tool. Network configuration tool by default starts with empty configuration. We have channels and station. Firstly, we have to build the communication infrastructure. The first step is adding the channel. Let's name it channel. The second step is adding the data provider. The data provider is a pair of the protocol and communication medium. In this example, we have to select SBUS IP over UDP TCP medium. This window displays the configuration of the data provider. The important thing for SBUS is to check whether UDP is used for as the communication protocol. Other settings are protocol settings. Uh, here we have some timers, but in these experiments we can use the default settings now. The next step is adding this segment. Here is a very important step. We have to write the PLC address. The first part of the address is uh, the IP address and after a colon we have port address. Uh, by default, SBUS protocol use 5040 port address. Let's name it segment. For other parameters we can use default settings. Now we are going to add the port. Sometimes the other name for the port is interface. This is two step operation. The first step is adding a station for this port. Now we have no station configured here yet, so we have to create new one. Let's name it SIA. The second step is setting the port address. This address is address of my SIA in the mean of SBUS protocol. I know that my SIA has address 1 in SBUS. Now we have to configure what data and how often we are going to read. We have to add one group to be read every one second, uh, that is 1000 millisecond, and the timeout in my example would be 5 seconds. Now I'm going to add three blocks. The first block has type register. The starting address is 1. In this block, uh, we have to add three tags. The server suggests the name for me, so I, I don't need to change anything. Do you remember the meaning of those registers? I was talking about it in the presentation at the beginning. The first increments every 100 milliseconds, the second increments every 1 second, and the third increments every 10 seconds. The second block are also registers, but the starting address is 10. Those registers are controlled from the front panel, so let's set the names accordingly to the input number, so we can add some suffixes. So for this register we can add suffix input 32, 
for next register we can add suffix input 33 the last block is block of flags the starting address is 1 we have to add two flags those flags are connected with switches on the front panel so uh, let's add SW to the names SW1 and SW2 now we can save the configuration using the default name which is default config in server directory now we can start the server using any client in this example I'm going to use OPC viewer to connect to com server we have to browse the network to find the com server or write down its address on the address tab now we have to connect to the server and we have to create a subscription or group we have to add all tags that we have previously configured now we can see some tags and their values in the OPC viewer view panel now let's to change the values from the front panel of the PLC let's take a look on, on the SIA F1 SW1 here we have false value uh, which means that the switch is uh, in off state let's change it I have changed the, the switch to on and of course the value is true the, se the same thing is there with the second switch of course uh, we can change the value of uh, register 10 and 11 for instance now we have uh, about 1000 the value of the register 10 we can change it to zero the same we can change with the register 11 let's change it to for example uh, 600 okay more or less it is 600 the last thing that I want to show you is uh, what is happening when I disconnect the uh, communication plug of course after the timeout all tags in OPC viewer have bad quality let's try to reconnect after a short time all values are read again thank you for watching this movie I hope it will help you to understand and learn the core server configuration